Hello, I am Ashen Ninja with getting started with Azag. Let's start this with the end turn. Now, as I finished the last video off with, uh, so anyone that's actually has made any suggestions, if any have been made on the last bit from the last video, uh, thank you very much. If not, that's 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 a bummer. Um, but if you want to do anything like uh, make a suggestion for what you want to see. Uh, for ways you think I could be better at what I'm doing, um, please, please let me know. I would be glad to hear it. Alright, so, because of that, we are going to run away. Run away, as I can. I told you there'd be in an army coming. They're coming right for you, Azag. So, just a bit more of that. Now, that army will, will have... A lot of trash in it, but it will also have a mortar in it. So be aware of that. <laughs> so we don't want to face that mortar um, with our troops. They're a little bit squishy to things like artillery. Now with our latest bunch of troops, let's see how much money we have left over. Because what could work well, because it looks like he's decided to hang out in Karak Raziak. Yeah. That's fine. So we have a full stack now. We're only making 290 gold though. So let's have a look at what we can get. Oh, well, we could get a knowledgeable great shaman. Night Goblin War Boss. It's relatively cheap. Yeah, let's get a Night Goblin War Get a disciplined ooh. Yeah, we'll take the discipline one. Well. So yeah, we're losing a little bit of money now. But that's alright. He is going to be our bait lord. Bait lords are really, really handy to have. I like having a bait lord. So what we want to do is use him to try and get Ostermark to come out and play. Preferably play with Azag's Ambush Force. Uh, so if we're losing a little bit of money, it's something that's going to be really, really common. Uh, I want the extra, we do definitely want that extra growth. Knights of our war boss! Pull him all the way up here. Want him to be as visible as possible. Now, let's see, 50%. 50%, yeah, that's only 50%. Anywhere we go, so... Let's see what we can pull off. Oh, we've made it all the way up here now, so... Uh, it's only good, really good for savage orcs. Go faster, and what are you? Yeah, let's make our buildings cheaper. We don't have any boar boys at all at the moment, so we're not going to worry too much about that. So let's see if they fall for Mr. Bait. Doesn't always work, but I find it fun. Yes. Now I am gonna in the for the sake of swiftness I am gonna auto resolve this one. It's got probably gonna be painful, but uh, it's less painful than I was expecting to be honest. Um, and I'm since we've lost money over the last couple of turns, I'm gonna take the treasury as well. Excellent. So now that army's taken care of. If I don't like it, you you want a gift from me? No. Fuck off. Ha ha ha. Now, really what we want to do, unfortunately. The first thing we want to do is say goodbye to him. He's done his job for now. We will give you beginnings of less money and we will give you full gork oh, so, good. so very good 
And we are going to be having a rebellion soon. Which is fine. And we will have a fight at Graziak. Who I want to do? I'm going to do it manually. We've already we took a beating from the uh, ambush, um, and I've learnt when because I'm bad at ambushes unless I am playing Skaven. So I've learnt that if auto resolve said I can win, probably best just to auto resolve them. Depending on the circumstances, because I've really stuffed up ambushes before. And it's always good to know where your strengths and weaknesses lie. And I've been an idiot and said, I'm really good at ambushes. And with those words, I fucked it up completely. So, lesson learned. Here we go. Never be scared of failing, because we all do it at some stage. Alrighty. Now, as usual, we can pop these guys over here to that. Now, he can't really use his foot of gawk, even though they've got themselves into a fairly nice formation for it, haven't they? That's alright. We will hit... that. Good amount of damage done there. Yeah, we'll keep on them. It's always nice to do a bit of damage. Uh, I don't think Edvard actually does a lot of damage. I'll, I'll leave it for the moment. Don't need to, don't need to do an Edvard. They're walking all over each other again. They are the best times. Yeah, if I had if I had enough uh, magic, that it would be would have been foot of gork time. Back a little bit more. They are doing a good job. Power of the war. Uh, so we're a little bit behind here at the moment, but one every nine seconds, that's not too bad. Uh, they're, they're firing at the right things. The spearmen don't have shields, so. Just that, just that little bit more magic. Simon, move it fast. It's the other thing I like about uh, Brain Burster is that it is basically an instant cast. So you should make sure you take advantage of that in the early game. As much as you can. Yeah. You might as well get in the way there, Azag. Why not? Just for a bit of fun. Okay, get him, Azag. Get him nice and bunched up for me. Thank you. Oh, yeah, lovely. Good work, Azag. Oh, 
Well, they're out of ammo now, so they can head off that direction. Let's get Azag in place again. Let's get our arrow boys in place as well to do as much damage as possible. Turn them around as well. But mostly, really want to get Azag in so that we can do things like this. Beautiful, and that is going to be the Amulus. Lovely, lovely. Nothing like killing a bunch of humies in the day. So a lot of what we're up to now is comes down to, do you want to continue sacking? Do you want to actually push forward your attack? In my opinion, you want to continue sacking, which is actually what I am going to be doing right now. Attack! Come from sacking for him. Oh, that's a pretty nice weapon for Azag. An idle carver. Lots more income from Zach. Lovely. And we have a nice, lovely rebellion coming soon. And you want magical reserves. So, for this one, we'll get another point. We'll put that into. Another point into Bukok. And then we want our war ball. That way he's nice and fast. Rebellion, why did you just go over there? That's a bit on the annoying side. Oh well, that's good. So they have gone straight into besieging the city. We'll take some extra teeth. I'm yeah, just going to auto resolve this. There we go, we got there eventually. I only lost 12, so that's good. And now, what we need to do is get ourselves over this way. This is good. Yeah, let's just quickly see, I'm going to see what their army is like. Oh, they have a Doom Diver, okay. Azag. I am true power. Yeah, Azag, you are true power, my friend. And what we want to do is try and capture a Doom The good thing is, him being a reinforcement army isn't actually a problem here. You still have the same amount of chance to capture said Doom Diver. Let's get a boss. And since we are reinforcing here. Oh, I lost a unit of this. Oh, that's fine. Uh, no, we didn't get the Doom Diver. Ah, that's Oh, that's right, yes, he force marched. That's alright. Another point for the Gork for our Shaman, that's excellent. When we do decide to actually take over Red Eye, there is a really, really good way of doing it. Basically, what it is, is find their Lord, kill their Lord, Confederate. Job done. It's very, very easy. Alright. Currently at plus two. We are getting to that next level. That is excellent. Move Azag back over here, and we want. I'm actually going to get. Another orc arrow boy. Uh, 
but since I can as well, I might merge those oh, units. Get another boy, uh, another boy that way, just to make sure we don't get too low on soldiers. Um, quickly looking at this, what would be a good thing for us to research after this is done? Nothing really jumps out. We don't really need Oglock the Horrible at all. Uh, we'll probably go with Go Faster next. That's fine. So most likely Osmark will have another army come up soon. Um, I'm still trying to think about whether or not I'm going to Walls at Red Eye Mountain. More money at Red Eye Mountain. Okay, we failed that mission. Oh, how sad. So let's have a look here. Uh, tier three. What I think we want to do is put in a get a goblin tinkerer in. We've only got the one at the moment. Getting a giant river to that. A giant river troll hag is a good idea as well. So I was having a shaman's hut. Mm. Main thing I do want is to upgrade that. So we're going to need money for that. So let's go back to Sacken. Because we make a fair bit of money from Sacken. Ooh, Book of Assure. Wow. So he's got the he's got the trickster's shard at the moment. His cast chance minus twenty. With the extra twenty five wins would be awesome. So we're going to give that to a U. I've I don't like the fact I've actually given him two blue items before he's uh. Immortal. I'm a firm believer of you get stuff when you go immortal, but at the moment he is far too useful. And having him on his war bore now, it makes him even more useful. So now, now he has mobility. And that is dangerous for the enemy. Mobility, foots of gork. Oh yes, oh yes, just what we want. Oh, they've declared war on the Red Eye. Okay. Construction cost minus 10% for all buildings, thank you. Uh, scrap upgrades for Black Ox and Squeak Herds and that sort of stuff, or go fast. Go faster! Uh, let's switch punch wagon units and uh, goblins. Meh, meh, meh. Press battle. Uh, yeah. See, that's all actually very good, especially getting up to healing mushrooms. Yes, yes! No. Another sacking. Keep moving! Noble amulet for him. So, a couple of reasons basically for doing Fire this. Leveling our Lord and Heroes. Give him Lightning Strike now. Ooh, what's that one? Get on with it. Oh. So, once we're done with the blue line, we want to start with this line. Normally, I go red line. Well, this line. Much, we get much cheaper, and there's actually quite a few bonuses we get through here. With extra shaman, making our, uh, our orc infantry much better. And we also get regeneration and a cast of Wind of Death. And that would be about when he's level 16, and he'll have Skull Muncher by then. So nothing like having Wind of Death flying above the enemy. Now, we can recruit this band for more wins, but we're not going to for 
now. I'm gonna hold back on that. Righty -o. Continuing along. Sure. Only then will I He's gonna be declaring war on us. Oh no, he just wants a gift, okay. That's interesting. He must be too busy fighting them. So he's leaving us alone to just fight Ostermark. Whose strength is still slightly below ours, so... Oh, they've had a rebellion. How sad making. Not overly surprising. we recruited, we got a goblin big boss. What kind of goblin big boss are you? You're a bragger. Alright, we're not going to put him in the army. We are going to send him scouting. So we can have a look down here and yeah. look for armies. Now, that yeah. is going to require us to now, yes. unfortunately, actually take and occupy this. Hungry, now. They have. Time for them to die. Let's take all these and merge them. You want to merge a bit more? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of that unit. Because we want a chance to get ourselves another rock lobber. Now, most of this is nothing to be concerned about. That rock lobber could be a pain, though. I know, I've got a rock lobber. Uh, the wolves are a slight bother. Only a slight bother, though. Oh, that's very white. Too much white, guys, too much white. Uh, we'll gamble, we Gambling wasn't... Gambling doesn't pay. Um, we'll pop the gobos in the middle. Orc Arab boys behind them. You there. Now, I deliberately... Uh, no way. Yes. Deliberately kept some boys from the front line for that job there. Got some trolls here. Spider Riders that side. As I can ha hang in the front. Now we get to play. Like his speed's still pretty sucky. Still only 65. But. What we can do is hopefully. There's their rock lobber. Rock Lobber is there, facing completely the wrong direction. So that's not too useful, is it? Uh, you need much more winds of magic before that's going to do anything. Alrighty, yeah. Got some rocks coming in our direction. So let's make sure we take as little damage as possible from that Rock Lobber. A lot of people say you need to wipe them out, but you actually don't. You've just got to beat them, and then you can capture it. It's only a 10% chance to actually capture a rock lobber, but it is well worth it. Well, I say rock lobber, but what I mean is artillery piece. You can capture any artillery piece that is the same ones that your race uses, and especially in the early game where you may not have the buildings for them, I suggest you do your best to do that. Oh, jeez. Lost a fair bit of health from this. Surprising, because they're not anti-large, but... It's okay. Just do a bit of backwards and forwards. Oh, copped some hits there. Now I know I actually do have a much bigger force than them and we'd be able to take them on fairly well even under uh, barrage from the rock lobber. Uh, 
that's just not how I roll. I'm very much of the... I want as much of my army to survive for as long as possible. School? Alrighty, let's see. So we've got some Arab boys. Now these kinds of things can be really good here. Riders, we're gonna go with the Savage Arab boys. There we go, that'll get them moving. That'll wake you up in the morning, won't it? Alright, let's see. Hour of the war. Ready. Slow it down just because I want to hit them with another foot. Because it, I do really like, like this spell. That's, oh, yep. That's the way. That's it. Thank you. Uh, just, just, just stand there. Keep shooting. That's fine. Oh yeah. Thank you. Let's get him out of here now. He did a fantastic job. as we'll shred them. And I'll shred them as well. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. They come again. Are oh, they crack at our front line with their uh, fast cavalry? Getting absolutely wrecked. I don't know why they're sending gobos in to do all the melee. But you'd think uh, even savage orc Arab boys would be better. Bows at melee, but Ready. yeah, it's what they want to do. Just need one more. Lovely. There we go. And that is it for that rebellion. Sorted out. Taking as little damage as possible. We don't know what we're going to come up against when we do hit uh, Ostermark again, so I want to stay as strong as possible. Now, before the battle, I was saying we're going to have to take this now. That's because when a city is held by a rebellion, you can't sack it. You have to occupy it, basically. You can raise it, but I don't want to raise this. I want to keep it going. So we can either occupy it, loot it. Oh, we're just going to occupy it. No point in looting it. And now we can see things like Naganhof. Now if you can see this, you can see Mordheim there is probably, I believe it's occupied by Skaven. Alright, so we'll repair that and... the best option there. Masha. We're going to give him his next in foot of Gork. And then we want to go Arcane Conduit, then Dodgy Geezer. 
Very, very good for a dodgy old geezer like this. in a commandment now. Get some growth and obedience going. Get him down yes, here boss. to do our scouting. No, there's books there. the boss. One more turn and that is up a level. So we're going to go through that in turn. And we now have the front foot. We have a well upgraded. Um, Get on with it. Uh, he's going to want peace. Yep. We don't want peace though. We want to take his lands. Oh, well, we've encountered Oslin now. Okay. Alright. So, with that level up. Well, that reminds me. Bugger. Did not get ourselves a thingy. Alright, so fighting pit, definitely want that. Stunty mine, definitely want that. Uh, at this point I'm thinking... That's actually, this is actually a really good building to have like all over the place because it really does make a lot of difference when it comes to your battles and everything. Um, but I'm thinking getting some more obedience and goblin big bosses could be good. But do I really need that? I'm going to go for some more rock levels. And since we have the money, we'll go for that as well. You moving. What can you see when it comes Can't to armies? Point. I see nothing. So That's we've got now. an option here. So here's where we're at. Got all that growing. We are going to be getting some new stuff there. I actually do suggest, and I might be a bit crazy for doing it. Let's jump into the that stance. See just here. He can leap to there. I am true power. And next turn. That's your target. Agenhoff. So do, don't take it. Just a bit of bit of the old sacking. Just to get the income going from it. Get a bit of money from it. Get a bit more wire from it. And once you actually get that wire army, and then really look at trying to get the uh, obedience here under control. So once you have the wire army, you'll be able to absolutely crush the rest of Beckhaufen, um, and you'll be able to really mess them up. Hopefully, you won't get uh, oh, geez, Carrot Cadron coming into war on you, but you never know. So you've got to be careful on that. But overall, you're in a very, very good position. So, that is going to be it from Al Azag the Slaughterer. So, hopefully, if you've enjoyed this, you can come along and subscribe. Please, as I said before, any advice, things you'd like to see, doesn't necessarily have to be anything uh, to do with getting started videos or anything like that. Any, any ideas at all, I'm more than happy to listen, more than happy to give things a go because uh, I'm here for entertainment if I'm not entertaining I'm doing something wrong so as I said I'll stop saying so so uh, can't help it bad bad joke bad I hope you have a good one stay safe out there please subscribe later